Hello and how's everyone doing today? Welcome to the channel if you're new. And if you're a returning viewer, well, I'm glad to have you back. Um, I usually don't do Fortnite on my channel, and you guys know this. Uh, it's not very often, it's pretty rare. Um, but this is a, you know, a special instance uh, that I want to show you guys. Um, if you guys go to the item shop, uh, for those of you who do play Fortnite, um, this is pretty cool. Um, we got Resident Evil. Uh, it's only on for 23 hours at the time of, you know, me recording this. Um, now, if you open this up, you got Chris, you got some back, uh, back blings, as they call it, basically backpack type things. We got Jill, we got another backpack thing, and we have a loading screen. Um, I do own this, uh, so I will go into the locker and I will show you. Um, what we'll do is we'll start with Chris. I don't know why I do that. Uh, we'll start with Chris. So this is, uh, so it's basically like Gaming Legends series, as you can see. That's what it said in the bottom corner there, Chris Redfield. So this is Resident Evil 5, Chris. Um, so we got the BSAA patch, his gloves, the proper shirt. Um, looks like all the gear is all correct as well. And uh, the pants, right down to the knee pads and the shoes. Everything looks correct. Um, the hair is right. Even got the little earpiece, which is really nice. They did a great, great job on uh, on this outfit. I think they did a really good job. Now, I'm not a fan of the Resident Evil uh, 8, Chris, to be honest. Um, I don't know, something just about the face, to me, just says it doesn't look right. If you look at this one, it's close, but I mean, obviously, with their cartoony style, I mean, you can't have... It's not going to look perfect, but I still think the face for this one looks really good, whereas this one doesn't doesn't look all that great um the hair is also correct the beard is correct um everything here i mean the, the outfit looks nice uh the jacket and the, the turtleneck you know even with like the the gloves and the, the shoes everything looks great uh the one cool thing about this outfit is that it has um like the jacket has its own physics so when you're running the jacket actually moves um, with Chris, which is really, really cool. Um, so again, the outfit itself is pretty cool. I do like it. I just don't really like the face. Um, if we go back, let's take a look at Jill here. Um, so they did a really good job with Jill. Um, as you can see, uh, the, the shirt is correct. Even the stars badge, all her gear, uh, the jeans, everything, even her, um, a little arm wrap there. Uh, from something that happens in Resident Evil 3. I'm not going to spoil it if you guys haven't played it. Um, you know, I have it on the channel. You can check it out. Um, but everything looks good. The hair looks good. And uh, I think they did a great job on this outfit. Um, I do... I think this one's pretty cool, the Star's outfit. I do have a little bit of issue with this, though. Um, I was kind of hoping that it would be the uh, Resident Evil 1 remake outfit or the original Resident Evil 1 uh, Stars outfit. But this is actually the Stars outfit uh, that you get as a um, unlockable in Resident Evil 3. I think it's an unlockable, it's either that or you have to buy it, I can't remember. No, sorry, this one is the unlockable one. Yes, so you unlock this in Resident Evil 3, I can't remember how you do it. Um, but these are both from Resident Evil 3. But anyways, uh, the hat, they got the hat right, um, everything looks pretty good from a um, quality perspective, everything looks really good. So they did get this outfit, you know, correct. Um, now if we go to other things, uh, this here, we have the hot dogger, which came in Resident Evil 3. It's an unlockable knife that you can use, a superheated knife, actually I think it tells you, umbrella developed anti-bow bioweapon. Whoops. Uh, knife used by those who like to show off. Now that description is actually in Resident Evil 3, so that's pretty cool that they did that. Uh, I do apologize if you can hear cars and stuff. I don't have my window closed right now. I forgot to close it. Um, you beat... I forget how you get... No, sorry. You buy this with the points um, that you get for doing in-game things in Resident Evil. Uh, three. Now the cool thing about this knife is I'm not going to go too much into it, but the cool thing about this knife is when you slash something it actually goes on fire. Uh, this thing is really useful against the nemesis and um, you know, and zombies and stuff. It's pretty good. Um, this thing here, the stun rod, standard issue uh, special, or sorry, uh, self-defense item. Um, this is from Resident Evil 5 
and I can't remember how you unlock this one. I can't remember if this is something that gets unlocked later on when you progress the game or something you get when you beat the game. I honestly cannot remember. Um, now they do, they did, now these, oh sorry, so these things did not come with the characters, like these things you had to actually buy separately. Um, the backpacks, I believe, did come with them. So we got uh, Green Herb, which is pretty cool looking. Oh, it moves. I didn't notice that. That's pretty cool. Um, wait, edit style. Oh, what? I didn't know there was different styles. What? Oh my god. <laughs> the blue herb, the red herb, and the green herb. I did not know that. That's actually really cool. I just found this out right now. Um, that's actually really cool. I didn't know that. Um, so there's that. And the other one that you get is the typewriter. Now, this is pretty cool, too. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. The quality is really good on both of them. It'd be really cool if um, it actually said, like, words on it and stuff. But, uh, no, it's really cool. I really do like this one. Yeah, like I said, I didn't even know that these had different styles and stuff. Um... But yeah, so these are the different characters and stuff. Um, and the, fun, the cool thing is that you can actually fight monsters in, in Fortnite right now. Um, so I guess what we're going to do is we'll uh, show the characters off in uh, some gameplay. And uh, yeah, then I guess we'll wrap the video up. Okay, so that little ball thing there looks like a ball of gas. Um, I think it's called like the sideways or something. I like, I like to call the upside down and backwards just to be funny. Now this area here is where all the monsters and stuff are. And as you can see I'm using the Resident Evil 5 Chris right now. Um, so let's put this into some action here and fight some monsters. Alright so we're in the uh, sideways now and I just want to open a chest here and uh, let's see what I get in this chest here. Open this up really quick. Um, oh, we got a machine gun. Oh, we got two uh, Gatling guns. I don't really need two of these, though. Um, what's in this one? Uh, looks like... Oh, two shotguns. Okay. So now we got some monsters coming after us. Okay. Um, usually there's a lot of monsters here. Oh, the health pack. That'll be useful for sure. Alright. Um... Okay, where is everybody? Of course, the one time I go to record and there's like almost no monsters. There we go, here's the monsters. Much better. So as you can see, they look pretty good in gameplay too. Like I, I think they did a, they did a really good job. Oh jeez! And then you kind of got gang banged in the corner there with a bunch of monsters. Now I don't really like these yellow guys, the big ones, because these guys tend to explode. So I tried to like throw some bombs at them and stuff. And uh, oh jeez, it's too close. Yeah, as you can see. And these guys I don't like either. Oh, God. Lots of yellow guys. Not very good. Not very good at all. All right. Um, so let's throw this down. So, yeah, those guys, the smaller yellow guys, they do poison damage. Which, obviously, that's not very good. But, yeah. Um, I think the outfit here looks really good in gameplay and stuff. Oh boy. And actually, if you leave here, if we leave here, we should be able to actually see what it looks like really nicely. Um, so yeah, I think the outfit looks really good. Um, there's definitely a nice quality to it. But uh, yeah, so the BSA Chris looks pretty good. Alright, let's move on and let's show off a little bit of the uh, Resident Evil 8 Chris now. Alright, so as you can see, we got Chris's outfit from Resident Evil 8 on now. As you can see, like I said, the jacket kind of moves with him, which is nice. Um, you know, flops back and forth when he's running, and they did a great job. Um, 
So we're going to go into the uh, upside down and backwards, as I call it. Again, that's not what it's really called. It's called the sideways. Um, but let's go in here and fight some monsters. I got the Stomp Baton from Resident Evil 5 on, as you can see. And uh, let's fight some monsters. Alright, so they're already throwing um, two guys here at me. The poison guy already. And this, oh Jesus, yeah, lots of guys already after me in this one. Alright, oh boy, yep. Alright, so these things here are actually used to upgrade weapons, which is really nice. Alright, what do I got? Oh, I got some, uh, some machine gun here, which is nice. Because this thing, it's not super powerful, but it's fast. So it kind of deals a lot of damage because it's fast, if that makes sense how I'm wording that. And the interesting thing is too, like say we have monsters, right? They can't go past this barrier, so if I go here like this, you'll get see them just gonna die, which is kind of funny. Um, all right, so let's go find us some more monsters here. Oh, so we got a big exploder guy. Alright, I don't know if these skinny guys do if they, oh. I don't know if the skinny guys do anything. No, okay, so they just drop those. Alright. So I like like even like the light reflections on the characters, they did a pretty good job, that's for sure. Um oh wow that guy died pretty fast. No, all right. All right. So yeah, this is a little bit of uh, of Chris's here, and uh, yeah, I think they did an all right job. I do prefer the Resident Evil Five version of Chris just a tiny bit better, uh, to be honest. Like I said, but it's mostly because of the face. That's all. Oh boy, and as you can see, I took a little bit of poison damage there. Alright, so that's Chris. Uh, let's move on to uh, Jill here. So it looks like Jill looks really good in-game. Um, she looks really good in her jeans, still, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, the uh, hot dogger looks really good. I was kind of hoping, I mean, obviously they wouldn't do it, but I was kind of hoping that they would do give it the fire damage. I can see it does fire, um, there's fire effects when you hit something though, that, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I don't think they would do that. Oh, nice, they gave us a, a uh, assault rifle right away. And an exploder guy too. Get rid of this guy here, alright. So yeah, like I was saying, these things here are cube monster parts. Um, you use these to upgrade um, special weapons that you would get here. And, uh, oh, here's the monster. Oh, there's one there. I think that's a poison guy. Yeah, we don't want to go near that guy. Oh, we've got some big guys up here. Nice. Stay away from me. There we go. Oh, we've got some lots of stuff here. Looks like someone has been here, I would assume. These things are pretty cool. The scythes, they're very powerful. Um... Looks like we got some good stuff here as well. These things are pretty good. Now the cool thing about... Oh god, I don't want to kill that guy with a scythe. I don't want him to blow up in my face. Um, now the cool thing about the scythe is that it gives you health back um, when you attack people. Which is pretty cool. Um, it can be upgraded. Oh boy. Let's see if we can get enough parts here to upgrade here. Alright, so we have enough parts to upgrade. Alright, we're just gonna, I guess, wanna open this up, get a little bit more experience, because you get experience points for opening up uh, chests and stuff, so let's open this up. Oh, hurry up. Open that, looks like we got some more of those. Health packs are always welcome. Um, oh, I already have three, so I don't need no, uh, any more. Alright, um... So I want to get up somewhere high, because the monsters, they can't really get up high places very easily. 
unless they break in and take the stairs. Oh, it looks like there's a real player right there. And, uh, let's see, let's, where, is that a real player? No, it's a computer robot monster person. Let's just take care of these guys real quick. Oops, alright, that wasn't very good. Got hit a little bit with the poison. Oh shit, an exploder guy. Alright, so, oh, we want those upgrade parts. <coughs> Alright, so let's see... Can we jump high enough? Yeah, we can. Okay. Okay, so let's upgrade the uh, sideways scythe. This thing's pretty good. You can actually uh, make it to, I think, what is it right now? Um, it's an epic one right now. Um, you can make it higher levels. I think the highest is... Oh, there's someone running away. Let's see if we can get this person. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know where he went. That's not good. Alright, let's get our health back here. Okay. Um... Okay, I have no idea where that guy went. You know what? He's attacking the truck, so I think he maybe he went inside the truck. Did you go inside the truck, buddy? No, he didn't. Okay. I have no idea where he went, but that is totally okay with me. Because <coughs> I don't feel like dying. Okay. Um, so we can make it legendary now, which is really cool. Alright, and we need... Ooh, 50. Um, we should be able to do it. What's that? Oh, that would be the storm. So I guess we won't be doing it, um, this time. Well, anyways, let's, um, go on and show you guys the, um, Star's version of, uh, the gel outfit. Uh, that one looks pretty, pretty cool, too. So it looks like there's some other players coming into this area, too. Um, as you can see, though, for Jill, her, uh, what do you call it? Uh, her gear, like holsters and stuff, looks like it moves with um, moves with her, which is really nice. They did a good job. And um, all right, so we got a pretty heavy gun. That's good. Um, so I can hear some blasting in the background. Let's see if we can find that person. <coughs> Oh man, I can hear some blasting really close. Right, I'm gonna guess... Yeah, there they are, right there. Oh, there's a person right there. Let's see if I can get them. I'm probably gonna die, to be honest. Oh boy, look at them all. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? And that didn't hurt them at all. That didn't work out the way I wanted it to. So it sounds like there's someone upstairs here. Alright, um... Yeah, okay. I can hear, th oh, I don't know where they went. Oh, someone shotgunned me. There we go. Oh, come on. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm not going to survive this, I don't think. Ah, no, monster. <laughs> oh, boy. This is bad. Oh, shit. Apparently, I killed him. I don't know how that works. And I literally have one health. <laughs> um, oh, do it. Should I go back in there? 
when I throw a grenade in there, will it? Oh, it bounces back. That's interesting, actually. I did not know that. So you can't uh, fight in there, or, like, attack from the outside, then. That's interesting. All right. Um, all right, I guess uh, there should be some health items in here, hopefully. Man, I gotta be so careful. No, I can't see any health items yet. Oh boy, if I take one hit, just one hit, you know I'm gonna die. Oh boy, hurry up. Nope. Uh, that's what I thought. Oh, there's a machine gun thingy here. But it's probably not very smart to go and use it right now, though, though. Oh, looks like we got a shield thing, <coughs> which could help us. I wonder if you can use your gold to upgrade sideways weapons. Oh, you can't. So you need to use um, <coughs> the pieces from them. That's interesting. I don't know why he would literally just stand there and let me go. Oh, God. Oh, health pack. Ugh. You can't build here, though. Like, you can't uh, do any of your building in here, which kind of sucks. I saw. Look at that. Awesome. <laughs> what the heck? Why is he jumping up and down? I guess even monsters want to have fun sometimes. Oh, God, what the hell? Oh, Jesus. That was terrifying. All right, let's heal up a little bit here. All right, so that's uh, the Resident Evil outfits. Um, they're pretty cool looking. Uh, like I said, the only thing I have against Chris is uh, the face. I didn't really like the face too much for his um, Jill Star's outfit, although the quality is really cool and looks really good, um, I would have to say, I kind of wish it was the original, or the, the remake one from one, or, um, the, uh, original, original one, um, and I just have to say, if, if it was me who made them, personally, um, I, instead of doing the Resident Evil 8 outfit, I would have <coughs> given Chris the Stars outfit, um, because I would assume that these are here for the, um, 25th anniversary of Resident Evil, that is this year, um, but yeah, I guess that's all I have to really say about that, um, it's really cool that they do have them in Fortnite, so it's not like I'm ungrateful or anything. You know, I, I it's pretty cool, something that I didn't think was going to happen. Uh, so it's pretty cool that it did, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, it's just those little things. But then again, I'm, I'm pretty picky. You know, to be totally honest, you know, I'm, I'm always picking apart things and whatever. So I don't want you guys to think that, you know, oh, <coughs> I'm not happy that things are in the game. Because I am. I'm glad that they have Resident Evil. Um, and I randomly leveled up, look at that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for the video. Um, what the heck? Did something die over there? Let's take a quick look before we go. Cause I, <coughs> I saw a red, a red line. Like, it looked like a red health line went down. Let's take a quick look before... We do that. Because I know that wasn't my eyes, just seeing things. 
Is there something over here? I know there's a secret boss monster in this game now, and he's invisible and he's almost impossible to find. Um, I mean, you watch, I'll find him now, but probably not. What's this? Oh, legendary one. Well, geez, I'll take that. Um, oh, nope. Um, but yeah, he usually roams uh, infect infection zones like this, uh, and I guess uh, maybe that's what it was. But, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think of the, you know, Resident Evil outfits. I think they're pretty cool. Overall, I know I complain a lot, but overall, you know, I think they're really cool. You know, I'm, uh, I'm glad that they have them in the game. And, uh, most likely, nine times out of ten, I'll probably use the star, the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the Chris one. The Resident Evil 5 Chris one, I mean. Um, but yeah, that's what I, that's my thoughts. I really like them. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about the outfits. And I hope you all have a very good uh, weekend. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Alright, until then, peace out.